hi ninjas how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel i know i went mia um and i've gotten so many messages from you guys especially from um you know from instagram i got so many messages of you guys asking why are you okay um what's going on you're so silent um to be honest with you guys i feel like maybe i should go ahead and just give you guys like maybe an example so that you know some of you can actually just say something um maybe from a creator's point of view especially if you're an entertainment blogger um so i started blogging in 2017 a lot of you guys know this when i went viral it was when i made a video about the passing of dumas lela and my channel blew up after that the next thing that i would say got my channel like up there was the time that aka ponang and dj zinches chende was basically going on and so i remember i used to do a lot of videos so obviously i was constantly looking at bonang dj zinche and aka i was constantly looking at what they post what's going on where they are and reporting on that because at that point i don't like to call my ninjas like fan I would say fan base or something i don't like that i would say my ninjas at that point they really honestly enjoyed that type of content and so if you're someone that has been with me since the early days of um late 2017 early 2018 somewhere there i can't remember exactly what when that time period was but i know it was somewhere there but i know for a fact that reporting on those on these three people it really helped my career a lot in terms of obviously you know getting people to recognize me and get to know about my channel because those videos were being recommended a lot and so i think that for for someone like me when you're an entertainment blogger you come online you know you look at the celebrities what they're doing what you can report on that is your daily job mind you guys for some of you that do not know i'm a full-time entertainment blogger so i'm constantly looking at what celebrities are doing i'm constantly getting tip offs from my ninjas you know from people that are saying hey this person did this this person did that this person did that now mind you guys it's not everything that i see about a celebrity that makes it to all entertainment um and reason being if there's something that happened and maybe i saw akb rude to a um follower or he did something that i felt like was newsworthy but then there's someone that did something that would be more newsworthy than that obviously i'm gonna go and report on what i feel like people will gravitate towards more but it still does not remove the knowledge that i have about what this person did so when you follow someone so much like that when you're constantly checking on people there's a part of you that just feels like these people are a daily part of your life you understand and as much as i feel like bloggers and entertain and and celebrities entertainment bloggers and celebrities there's that unspoken beef some is obviously spoken as well but at the end of the day i personally feel like as an entertainment blogger that is on the other side that actually talks about celebrities maybe I know the celebrities that don't like it when we talk about them so maybe some of them may hold a grudge some of them may be like i don't like that that this and that but me on the other side i'm just simply doing my job so i don't really have any backside um i don't have any how can i say this i don't have any, any beef do you understand what i'm saying i don't have any beef with the celebrity if anything i want to see all the celebrities succeed i want them to get so rich i want them to you know live happy lives i do want them to have scandals here and there i'm not gonna lie because that's my job you understand what i'm saying and life continues like that so when something like this happens where aka is literally assassinated gunned down and again you get to see it in real time it's a lot this is someone you've been following for years this is someone you've been keeping track of their movements like it's a lot and i'm not even saying that um you know everyone thinks the way that i do everyone feels the things um the way that i do i'm just simply speaking for myself and what i have come to learn as an entertainment blogger um is the fact that 
like this is honestly just one of those dead that really honestly hit me i'm not even going to lie i think that the way that he died that's the part that really honestly just it's difficult for me to honestly just be like okay it's gonna be business as usual it really honestly is i did try um and i was releasing like you know voice backgrounds um i had recorded i think like four videos and i uploaded them at the same time the ones that my face was there but i really honestly i think i filmed those videos on sunday i just did not have the strength you guys i really honestly did not i think that aka's passing has triggered a lot of us i did also see sims talking about it to say that you know she could not um you know report honestly on this because it it reminds her so much of you know how her brother passed and everything so it's it's like as much as we are entertainment bloggers and these things like they are happening as an entertainment blogger whose job is solely to talk about celebrities it's a lot more for us because we know so much about these people you know it, it it becomes almost as if you know this person even though you don't and as much as you may not agree with certain things that they do um i'm someone that if i feel like you're not being held accountable i'll talk about it and i've always been like that and i have always told myself and i've always prayed to say i need to always reevaluate myself because i can't be personal you know i try my best not to but i'm human you understand and so yeah the reason why honestly i've been away is because this aka's passing triggered me um if there's a huge part that it triggered me on was just seeing how he was alive one minute and a second later he was down like aka did not even struggle like he was gone like that you know and it just shows you how easy it is to be alive one moment and then next moment to not be alive and i think that that's such a scary reality and looking at the fact that in south africa it's not like the government is really doing much it's not like the government is really doing much you know to make sure that maybe they're changing the minister of police because we can see he's useless um you know they're putting certain um new laws you know towards the police on how they can do this and this and that at this point we're even getting rumors that police are the ones that are also working within gabby's like it's it's a really scary place especially also being a public figure ever since this happened guys i've been in bed i'm not even going to lie um i've only gone out when i had to and i'm back i'm in bed and i'm just like you know if i'm going out i'm going to buy something i'm super just looking like i'm super vigilant because i'm like people know my face i don't know everyone you know i have ninjas i have ninjas like it's 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 such a triggering thing you know it's such a triggering thing and you guys know um or some of you know wednesday i did go to court um and when i was there and i was just looking at everything you know my sister's father was there obviously and i was just looking at it and i'm like god like please just keep me because if anything was ever to happen to me like where would my siblings go they don't like they're literally orphans even though they have a father that is alive if i'm not the one that's fighting for them like you know i don't even want to get emotional but yeah ak is passing really triggered a lot and again the other thing that i also saw was um on twitter there was a point where i refreshed my phone and i went to twitter and ak was not even trending the person that was trending was nadia nakai i think and then there was also dj Zinja, but ak was not there no rip aka no rip canon nothing um and so uh, maybe he was trending like as you went down but the tab that you open and those are the most trending topics was not there and it also just reminded me of how rig rig trended so much because you know um sorry rest his soul he also passed february of last year and i was like when last did rigi rigi trend you know that was a very long time ago around his passing unless if there's something that is really like you know juicy that is going to affect him high chances are he'll never trend again because there's nothing that he's actually doing he passed away and so i looked at it and i was like ak is not even laid to rest and his trend is not even there at this point and it reminded me so much of just saying i'm 
someone that I do my best to live my life not having to care about what people say again I am human there are certain things that will get to me but I honestly feel like I'm such a balanced person in terms of there's a lot that you can say about me and I wouldn't care um, and at most times I just know how to protect my space in terms of what I can watch what I cannot if things get out of control then that's when I'm gonna have to step in um, but it also just made me say to myself that you know what oh I mean if you are not feeling like working don't take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of you if you want to be in bed for two days straight and you're going now no way you're not doing anything do that for yourself um, because the 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 same way that you are here like you know you putting your work so important like i need to you need to force yourself you need to do this you need to do there is something that i've done a lot um at times where i feel like i should have just taken a break and rest my mind and i couldn't because i'm like you know no i don't want to disappoint and what i've also realized is that at, at most times ninjas will tell me oh, let me take a break it's okay we will we'll be here when you come back so it's not even a matter of fearing that when I come back my ninjas are not gonna support me I know you guys support me and I'm super grateful for that um what I've seen is that I have this fear of letting people down so much I've always had that and I think now looking at the fact that aka passed and he wasn't even trending um at the top tab before he was even laid to rest that I think is when you actually realize that the world does not care as much as you think the world cares people move on people literally move on um as if you never existed and they never even talk about you um there's a day that nobody's gonna know any of us like me talking you over there watching that we even existed like there's a time that there are people that won't even know of our existence you know um and so i was like no i really honestly need to just change the way that i live my life um and also just focus more on me i think you know and so that is just one of those things that I feel like has been going on with me um, it has been a lot I'm not even going to lie and I'm not claiming you know to be like oh AK was my favorite person I'm not claiming that but I did not hate the guy because I saw someone actually make a comment to say you didn't even like the guy I'm like you would have to be a certain level of evil um, for you to see someone die the way aka did and you would be sitting out here like yeah I didn't like him he got what he did nobody deserves that um, if your heart does not hurt for others I think what it's more telling of who you are than who someone else is I've always said this to say guys I have no beef with no celebrity I honestly mean it I have no beef with no celebrity that's why if you're someone that watches all my videos you realize that today I'll agree with this person tomorrow I'll agree with that person it's only based on the circumstances and what is happening and obviously my opinion and that is it I do not have private beefs with celebrities because I don't personally know them and why would I sit here and be like oh you know because of whatever it is maybe that happened in the past um with the bonang and the dj's in case situation and everything i'm gonna be sitting here and being like yeah you know aka this and this no like it's more telling of the type of person that you are um you know than anything that you would sit then it means you'd be okay with someone dying just because maybe you didn't agree with them with one thing or another um he was a great father his daughter is having left now to have to grow up without a father a father that wanted to be present in her life a father that loved her a father that showed everything and you are sitting or i'm sitting here and i'm running up and down with court cases with a father that does not want to even support his kids do you understand like how crazy life is honestly it it hurts it honestly does hurt um and so basically that's that i did need to take my break honestly for myself um and i feel like there's certain things that i'm gonna just change when it comes to my life that i've set down and i'm like i'm gonna definitely change this i'm gonna do this just for myself i'm gonna live this life for myself life is too damn short that's number one life is too damn short people don't care about you as much as you think people do <laughs> um and um again screw what people say 
because at the end of the day it's your life you have to live it however it is that you want to live it and everything and so yeah I think what like that's something that I've just been going through. Um, some people will understand, some people won't. Um, the ninjas that so because I was quiet in terms of I wasn't posting on TikTok like that, I wasn't posting on Instagram, I wasn't posting on YouTube. I honestly just took a break. I took a break for myself. However, today is um aka's memorial. Um, I did get an opportunity and um I got offered a media pass by someone, and I honestly like just I had to decline um and reason for that was because i just feel like <sighs> sometimes just for me i would rather just have people grieve um whatever it is that i have to report i'll report from this side um and i just honestly was just thinking for everyone that would actually be there imagine um yeah it's just it's crazy it's honestly crazy but anyway i just i don't know what time this video will come up i'm just still waiting um you know to get the notification that the memorial service has started um it is about 20 past three so i don't know if it has already started or not but i've not gotten the notification um for some of you that do not know it will be streaming live on aka's youtube channel and so i'm sure maybe the sabc and other news platforms are going to stream um and yeah from you i mean it was all right i love you guys stay blessed and um stay safe bye ninjas